for me. <coughs> so my brother said, no, I won't back off. Tell her what you're wrong. You know, and he says, shut up, you don't have to do it. I was saying, brother, brother, what is wrong? What have I done wrong? He says, sis, and he blurted out, and the next door name's Frank. Keith. And the next. Oh, I said, take me to him, brother, take me to him. And he went, I can't, sis. He says, but these people, the law. And I said, why, why, why? Then the doctor says to me, oh, the policeman says to me, I said, you've known him to come here and talk. I said, because you're out there. And I said, keeps up fed for you people, always coming and drinking here and then going out on your naughty cycles and falling <coughs> off, and then we get blamed. <laughs> and we do. We did, seriously. Yeah, we did, yeah. Every time they came up, they'd stick and drink and drink and drink. And then they'd go out on the naughty tricycles and then go down the... Because we were down the hill and they never... Never went down the hill. <laughs> they never went down the hill, right? You know, like, people walk and drive properly. They used to roll over them. And, um, so he just said to me, uh, Keith, I'll take it to see Keith. I said, Okay. So, okay. And I said, will you tell me what's going on? You call me. I'm on the policeman. He said, I'll take you there to see you. Said, we all know your temperament and we have to do what we think. Okay? I said, oh, okay. And then I thought, good log. Because I knew where log was. Mm -hmm. I still haven't told you at that point. Yeah. I said, this is the mark. And he said, well, I had to take your keys off you. I had to get you out. I had to do this. He said, he's dead. Well, I tried to fight myself out of the police car. I tried to run and scream. He dramatically did it. Instead of just saying he's dead. He just dramatically. And I went in. And there was blood all over the place. All of it. And because his Uncle Frank was in as well with him. And Uncle Frank, he, Keith got killed out straight away because the steering wheel hit him and that. Mm -hmm. And then Uncle Frank <coughs> got it and he, his back was broken. And he crawled out of the car to go and get help. And he was bleeding all over. And it, 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 was, it was terrible. And um, <coughs> they put this thing over his head. So I'm just going like that, sit to talk to Keith, you know, and neatly came and went, don't touch that. But I didn't realise they'd taken everything out, yeah. here, you oh. see. And, uh, and I'm saying, you be a, you did this purposely because why didn't you tell me you didn't want me? You know, because you blame yourself. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Because I said I would have left you. I wouldn't have spent time more. <laughs> but I didn't really, because it, it takes two to tango, doesn't it? And um, he didn't answer me, and I, would, and I couldn't touch him, no one could touch him. And um, so uncle, his uncle, and his spine had gone straight through his back to me. He, he splattered all, it was in the splattered all, the blood all over because I couldn't stop it to draw. Anyway, 